ちは。Welcome to Japan Society here on YouTube. 今日はウキウキミニエイトです。The first question is from フラフィッシュさん who asked what's the difference between 行こう and 行きましょう。Grammatically speaking, 行こう is an example of the volitional form. It means let's in casual speech. 行きましょう also means let's, but in polite speech. So to say let's go, you can use 行こう with friends and family and 行きましょう with colleagues and acquaintances. Here are a couple of more examples. 食べよう食べましょう休もう休みましょうゲームをしようゲームをしましょうまた来ようまた来ましょう The next question is from Sara h a m d e さん who asked How are 私は and 私が different? This is a loaded question. The difference between the particles wa and ga are so complex that there are many books written just about them. Generally speaking, you can think of wa as a topic marker that simply introduces a topic, whereas ga tends to call extra attention to the subject. Let's compare a few basic sentences. Watashi wa Karen desu. I'm Karen. Here I'm just introducing myself normally, as in self introduction. Watashi ga Karen desu. It is me who's Karen. In what scenario would you likely say this? Well, imagine that you are at a party that's packed with people. Someone comes in asking for you.、Um, somebody left a cell phone in the bathroom.、Uh, who's Karen? どなたがカレンさんですか So you say, 私がカレンです I'm the Karen you're looking for. Another example. Let's say you're talking about working on a project. 私はやります Means, I'll take care of it. 私がやります。Sounds like nobody else, but I'll take care of it. So, が can put an extra emphasis on the subject. But once again, わ versus が is quite complex with a lot of dimensions. This is an explanation of just one aspect of these particles. So, I encourage you to look further into it if you're interested. The third question is from Melanie san, who asked, How do you pronounce Japanese words in general? As a rule, Japanese pronunciation is mostly a combination of a consonant and a vowel, consonant and a vowel, consonant and a vowel. So, for example, sumimasen is sumimasen. It's kind of similar to the way you read Spanish. You can learn most of the sound combinations when you learn hiragana characters and all the relevant、uh, rules, such as the double consonant, which is the small tsu. Uh, combined consonants, which are the small ya, yu, yo, and long vowels, etc. It may be a good idea to get started with these. Additionally, understanding the intonation or pitch is also helpful. For example, hashi means chopsticks and hashi means bridge. Please check out Uki Uki Lesson 9 for more information on this topic. The last question is from Colombia Jin san. Who asked, are there tips on building vocabulary? Students ask me this all the time. Here is a good rule of thumb. One, divide vocabulary to manageable chunks. And two, use repetition. Here's a memory trick by time. Let's say you do five words a day. You can learn them all at once, like for example, when you just get up, or you can split them up even further. For instance, you memorize one word during breakfast, another during your morning commute, another while enjoying lunch, and a few hours later, one word on your way home. Finally, one more during a delicious dinner. Not too bad, is it? It would be extremely powerful to incorporate a rhythm like this into your daily routine. Another memory trick you may want to try out is by location. Write five words of the day on large individual post its. Put them up on five different places that you look at most frequently throughout the day. For example, on your computer, on the fridge door, bathroom door, near side wall, and of course, on your cell phone. This way, you will inevitably be looking at these post its repeatedly while you simply go about your day. This trick takes only two minutes to set up and it's very effective in the office, at home, at a hotel, or really anywhere. So you can do this even while on vacation. 
With five words a day, this is what you'll get. In a week, you'll be familiar with 35 new words. In four weeks, it'll be 140 words. Before you know it, three months will fly by and you'll have mastered impressive 455 words. Just remember to really commit those five words to memory by the bedtime. With all those new words, you will be amazed by the difference it makes. You can trust me on this. You can really feel the world expand along with your progress. Thank you so much for watching Uki Uki. Don't forget to leave a comment or ask me a question below. And uh, please subscribe if you enjoy this video. Deo mata!